Can you receive SSI, Supplemental Security Income, in conjunction with Social Security Retirement or Disability Benefits? The simple answer is yes. Let's get right into the content. That's what this video is all about. There's a lot of people out there asking, hey, can I collect on both of these benefits at the same time? Yeah, you can, and it's awesome. So let's get right into the content and talk about it. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Matt. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. And please be sure you are subscribed by hitting that button down below. Thank you so much for hitting that button. Now that you're subscribed, we can get into the content. But I like to call myself the underdog advocate as I'm back on a daily basis looking out for all of you receiving Social Security retirement, disability, survivors, SSI, low income, no income, VA beneficiaries, all of you are included. I get it. I know what it's like to be that person where you feel like there's nobody out there that you can turn to to get answers, nobody that you can turn to to trust with the information, and worst of all, you feel like there's nobody out there who will be your advocate. Well, don't worry. I'm that guy. I'm back on a daily basis. I'm here making videos every single day looking out for all of you in these groups. Now, you might be wondering, this dude's crazy. Why does he care about this? Here's why. Because I'm in the group. I'm in the disability category. I'm actually blind. I don't even know if I'm looking at the camera. In fact, I actually think I am because there's a light right behind it and I'm just staring at the bright light and it hurts my eyes. That's about all I can see. But anyway, long story short, I like to look out for these groups because I was that guy for so many years. I felt like I couldn't trust anybody. I felt like there was nobody to turn to with all the answers that I had or for all the questions, I should say. <laughs> nobody, had all the, all the, nobody had all the answers to all the questions that I had. And I felt like there was nobody that could serve as an advocate. So I get it. So I want to be that person. I made this commitment a long time ago. And thank you so much for allowing me to be this guy continuously. So anyway, that was a really long winded intro, but you know what? The, there you go. Now you know. <laughs> So let's get into this and talk about it. But this, the question of the day is, can you receive SSI, Supplemental Security Income, in conjunction with Social Security, Retirement, Disability, Survivors, you name it? The answer is yes. Now, I want to preface this video by saying, of course, I do not know your exact situation. So just because I'm saying yes, doesn't mean you're automatically qualified to receive both benefits simultaneously, okay? So please just recognize this is general information. This is not specific um, information based on your situation at all. I don't know that. I would highly recommend that you reach out to the Social Security Administration, have a conversation with an agent there, and they can determine if you would be eligible for both programs. Of course, you'll probably need to apply, which is totally fine. However, they can probably look at your situation basically probably ask you a bunch of questions and from there they can determine if it would be worth applying for you know either one whatever it is so let's get into this and talk about it a little bit further of course this is a big topic but let's try to hammer it down and um, see if this makes sense so like i said i've said it a couple times now ssi supplemental security income it's a needs based program for those individuals with low income or reduced income, minimal income, or limited or basically no resources. Now, what are resources? Resources are basically anything of value, a vehicle, um, a home, cash. Well, actually, they exclude your home in many instances, but basically they're wondering, how much cash do you have? How much money do in the bank? Do you have investments? Do you have stocks? Do you have bonds? Do you have real estate investments? What kind of investments do you have? Basically, they wanna know, how much money do you have? What are you worth? What is your net worth? Well, if you don't really have anything to show for, if your income, your assets are very limited, you probably qualify for SSI because it's a needs-based program. Now, how does this correlate and how does it fit in with Social Security? Okay, let me just say this also. When I refer to Social Security, I'm referring to everything. Retirement, disability, survivors, all of them. I just like to say Social Security so I don't have to keep saying all of those categories. So, if you're someone receiving Social Security, can you also receive SSI? The, in the simple answer is yes, you can. However, there are, it depends. I wanna say it depends and everybody loves it when we say it depends. I get it too. When I'm looking for an answer and somebody says it depends, I always just feel like, duh, come on. I just want a straight answer. Just either yes or no. That's all I care about. Just yes or no. Tell me yes or no. Well, the simple answer is yes, but it depends. That is the thing. So 
If you're an individual receiving Social Security Retirement Disability Survivors benefits and you have, that's your only income, your only income is from your monthly Social Security payment and you have limited resources, as in you have very minimal cash in the bank, cash in your house, you have um, limited resources, as in you basically don't have any investments, um, real estate, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, you name it, anything like that in an investment account, you probably would be fine to receive SSI on top of your social security benefits. Because remember, it's a needs-based program for people with limited income and limited resources. So in that instance, you may be one of the people who could receive both benefits. So you might wanna look into that. Now you might be thinking, uh, let's look at another scenario. I receive SSI. I'm not, I'm not saying me specifically, I'm just saying let's just make up the scenario. I'm someone who receives SSI. Let's see, can I, can I get social security disability? No, not really. It doesn't really work that way necessarily. In some instances, yeah, you probably could if you're someone who has a qualifying disability that would qualify you for social security disability. However, it doesn't really work that way. Um, it's more like if you receive SSI, okay, that's good. I'm glad you're getting those benefits. But it more works the other way as in if you're receiving Social Security, then it's more likely that you can po possibly receive SSI on top of that. I hope that makes sense. So it's kind of like a one-way street. If you're in on the Social Security retirement or disability, then you could probably possibly get in on some, so um, some SSI as well on top of your benefits. Now, Here's the kicker, the trifecta. What do I mean? <laughs> so you got some cash from your social security. You got some cash from your SSI. And then the trifecta, the cherry on top is uh, SNAP benefits, supplemental, uh, what is it? Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food assistance on top of it. I like to call it the trifecta, boom. Yeah, you get all of those benefits and yes, in some instances, individuals could get all of those benefits simultaneously. Now, again, it would be, you know, a, probably a rare group that could probably get all those. Probably the majority of you watching this probably wouldn't get all three of those benefits. However, some people could get all of those. So you could really stack up your benefits there, and which would be great because you could get some cash you know, from the social security benefits, you could get some cash from the SSI, and then you could get a little bit of, little bit of lunch money on top of it each and every month to help you out <clears throat> at the grocery store. So what do you wanna do? You probably want to reach out to the social security administration and say, hey, I, I was listening to some crazy dude on YouTube. He maybe knows what he's talking about. I don't know if he knows what he's talking about. He probably doesn't even know if he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> no, really, I actually do a lot of research on this stuff. Um, I actually do understand this stuff pretty well, but realistically, I'll be completely honest with you, I don't always have the best way of conveying all of this in messages through my videos. I, um, I understand it conceptually very well in my head, but when it comes out of my mouth, it sometimes doesn't make that much sense. So <laughs> uh, you're probably experiencing that right now. Maybe, hopefully this makes sense. But either way, I actually do a lot of research on this stuff, so I actually do know this. Um, but either way, what you wanna do is you wanna reach out to the Social Security Administration. I'll give you a phone number and a website and some other information here in just a second. What you wanna do is reach out to the Social Security Administration and have, have a conversation with them. Say, hey, I'm receiving Social Security right now. Can I get SSI on top of it? Hey, I'm struggling. I need some additional assistance. I have very limited income as Social Security is my only benefit each and every month. Um, I need some food assistance, you know, maybe, you know, wink, wink, send me some food assistance also, but that's a different conversation. Um, but actually, what do you, when you talk to the Social Security Administration, tell them, you know, your situation, and they'll probably say, you know what, you need to apply for SSI, and then we can see if you can get both benefits. But they should be able to break down your situation and tell you if you can probably get both benefits on top of each other. So what do you want to do? Here's the website. 
Check out this website. It'll give you tons of information. If you want to read through it, it's a great resource, ssa.gov. Again, ssa.gov. I'm guessing if you're receiving Social Security or SSI, you're probably very familiar with this website already. But here's the phone number. Call this phone number and have a conversation with an agent. Again, you might have to sit on hold for a couple hours. All, all of us know that. That's kind of just the deal with Social Security. You have to sit on hold for hours. But anyway, the phone number is 1-800-772-1213. Again, 1-800-772-1213. That's the phone number. Call that. Go through the automated system. Talk to an agent and you know see if you would qualify for both benefits simultaneously. Otherwise, you can always reach out to your local Social Security office and have a conversation with an agent there to see if you could possibly qualify for both benefits simultaneously. Now, the trifecta. You're wondering, how do you get that third benefit, otherwise known as food assistance? Again, you could probably talk to the Social Security agent, but they're probably not gonna know. Realistically, they may not know. So call SNAP. Call their office and have a conversation with them. See if you can apply. See if you can get benefits through them. It's free food assistance. Here's the phone number. It is 1-800-221-5689. Again, 1-800-221-5689. So check that out. I hope this helps you out. Again, this is a big topic, but there's a lot of people that always ask this. Can I get Social Security and SSI simultaneously? The simple answer is yes. However, it depends. So check that out. Hopefully you can grab some extra benefits. That'd be awesome. Stack up your benefits. Get some extra help. Some people don't even know that you could qualify for both benefits simultaneously. Also, one more quick question people ask all the time is, is Social Security and SSI the same thing? No, they are two completely different programs. No, they have nothing to do with each other. However, they're both administered through the Social Security Administration. So I have other videos on that. You can check those out if you want, but the simple answer is no, they are completely different programs. So I hope this video helps you out. Um, like I said, check it out. You never know, you might be able to get both benefits. Either way, I'm always here for you. Thanks so much for your support. Enjoy your day. And if you're still watching, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks everybody, I'll catch you later.